I'm no DaVinci Resolve expert, but it's very GPU intense. So I picked up this bad boy. I follow a lot of tech channels from Linus Tech Tips to Paul's Hardware to PC Perspective Podcast. I listen to a lot of those things. And basically what they're saying is this is one of the most powerful GPUs out there. Now those tech channels do a lot of gaming benchmarks, which has always frustrated me because um, I don't care about gaming. In fact, I'd rather not have games on my system because if I do, then I will probably never get any work done. <laughs> I know there's some plastic on here somewhere. I always see Paul doing this on his and it makes this sound. Right, everybody loves it. Here we go. Ready? not one of these guys that goes with the, all the RGB lighting because nobody ever sees the computer. I mean, it's got glass, but I really don't care. I'm not one of these guys that aesthetics is everything. I just want it to work. Now you might be thinking, oh, Dave has probably done a whole bunch of testing with his 980 Ti and he's going to do a whole bunch of benchmarks for us. Um, no, that's not going to happen. Um, this is going to be totally by feel. It's not going to be anything scientific. Most of the benchmarks out there are synthetic, which I really don't care about. And to be honest, I mean, I do care about a little bit about rendering or generating what's called optimized media. But uh, let's see, how does this come out? Again, I'm no computer expert here. But there is the 980Ti. And in goes the 1080Ti. Uh, uh, the biggest thing that I'm looking for is the response of uh, not just playback, because uh, actually the 1080 Ti did pretty well with the XAVC footage on playback once it started to play. The problem was I would get significant lag of when you'd hit play and it would take sometimes like four, six, maybe even what not happen that often but maybe eight seconds you'd actually hear uh, or it would take a long time for it to actually start playing but it looks like I can use the exact same wiring configuration as the old one. Oh man this thing is heavy all right I've been editing for a while in resolve and I got to tell you, I'm very disappointed. It's like, oh, um, unfortunately it didn't make any difference whatsoever. I don't think, I think there's something to do with Resolve and XAVCS, which is what I'm shooting with, mostly with like, I shot this with the A6500 4K mode and I put on a 1080 timeline. It's just not liking it. Um, if you go to some of the colors forums that I hang out in, like you ask questions like this, they're all like, well, it's a terrible codec to play with. But I'm like, well, it works fine in Premiere Pro. And it works when I understand it. Cut XAVC-S cuts like butter and Edius um, and some other programs. But Resolve, it's just like, bleh. It's, let, me, let me see if I can demonstrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn off the optimized media because I'll get to that here in a second. I'm going to put a file in uh, and put it right here. It's brand new. I haven't cut this before. And I'm just gonna put the playhead somewhere and I'm gonna slap the keyboard so you know when I hit play and you can kind of count how long it takes before it starts to play. Sometimes, 1001, 1002, 1003. Oh, I didn't hit play. Oh, I did hit play. <laughs> Let's try it again. 1001, all right, that was pretty quick. So I'm gonna make a cut here, put the playhead right on it. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, about four seconds. And that, my friend, is just terrible. Here, let's do it again. Sometimes it won't, it'll start right away, 1,001, 1,002, maybe a second and a half or so there. Let's try another cut, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, about three seconds. It's from anywhere from like a one second to four seconds. Sometimes it's actually could be like six to eight seconds. Sorry, I'm not the only one home today. Um, that's the biggest bummer when you try to be creative and you're editing quickly. Like last night, I was last night I was editing volleyball, and I really you really need to turn optimized media on. So what is optimized media? It's basically a proxy, 
And let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna turn on optimized media. Now if I make a cut, it goes, make a cut, it goes, make a cut. I should turn my phone off before I start recording. It goes, um, it's great. And watch the scrubbing performance. Look at that. That's just butter. So I've ta basically I've taken the 4K footage and I think I've halved it or it's down to 1080 um, half. And I've got it set DNXHR444 HDR. The HDR so I can actually color grade and it keeps the super whites. So what I was kind of hoping what would happen, um, putting in this 1080 Ti, I wouldn't have to generate optimized media. You might be saying, well, Dave, that's not a big deal. I don't know. It's like I was editing a volleyball game last night and I was like, oh, should I, you know, wait the 20 to 30 minutes for it to actually, you know, chew through the footage and create optimized media or do I just start cutting right away? Sometimes I'll start cutting right away because I can kind of deal with that four seconds versus waiting a half hour for the thing to do, you know, do its thing. Um, just really quick, let me go through the specs on my machine. It's an i7 5960X, eight core overclocked to 4.3. The 1080 Ti, I have not overclocked it yet. I don't even know how. Uh, and there's 64 gig RAM. I don't even know if the overclocking on the graphics card will actually do anything. I have a feeling it won't do anything because I gotta say, I can't remember what the specs are, but between the 1080 Ti difference to the 980 Ti, I think there was quite a performance boost. What, like 35, 40%? Or something like that, a lot, basically. Um, the 1080 Ti, or 980 Ti had, had six gig of RAM. I have the box, actually it's already boxed up. I think this one has 11 gig of, of VRAM. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, um, you might be saying, Dave, you just wasted your money. I'm gonna obviously sell the 980 Ti and I don't know, get a few hundred bucks for it. Um, but I have a feeling next month kind of NAB Resolve 13 will come out and hopefully maybe they'll increase performance on this. Cause like I said, Premiere Pro has no problem. Edius has no problems with XAVCS, you know, 4K footage cuts great. All right, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, I'm a little sad that the 1080 didn't solve my problem. Um, if you're a Premiere Pro user, uh, you don't have to leave any comments saying use Premiere or use Final Cut. You don't have to say that. I'm still trying to, I'm, Hoping that uh, you know Blackmagic will actually work on performance this time rather than adding new features. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. If anybody's interested in buying this, um, before I put it up on eBay, I'll give you a better deal. I'll take the average price minus the commissions that I'd have to pay to uh, eBay and I'll give you a better deal.